Namaste. How's it going? All my teachings come from personal experiences, and I'm just sharing them with you. The techniques, the pitfalls, the mistakes I commit along the way, how to prevent them, as well as how yoga yeah, has helped me manage my health, wellness, and well-being. Yes, the physical side of it is just a preparation to meditation. But it is important because we utilize the body to gain access to the spiritual side. Yeah. That's just the, the science of Hatha Yoga. Open the body, gaining access to the inner compartments of the body, the breath, so we can yeah, lift the energy. All right. And for today, let me talk about the health in general, particularly yeah, the skin and the hair. Now, age, stress, yeah, genetic, they will all catch up on us. And I have my share, especially men, eh? we you know, lose a hair. Yeah? And for me, it, it's, it's here, the crown. Yeah? Back then, yeah, many years ago, yeah, this part of my scalp has thin so much that I could already see my scalp in the circle, but now it's gone. I'm not a conscious person. Yeah, so I just notice it. I just realize it that um, I was filming my <laughs> one of my tutorials, and then I noticed, oh, my hair has gone back. Yeah, it has regrown, yeah? and there's no other, I say, techniques or things that I can attribute this regrowth other than yoga. Yeah. I'm not taking any vitamins. I, I'm not taking any supplements. I just enjoy my food. I'm not even strict with my diet. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I haven't seen a doctor in like, what, 15 or 20 years. Yeah. Maybe that instance I need to see a GP was because of a medical checkup, a routine, but not a, a, a physical or you know, health issues. Yeah. I've never been sick. Really, I can't remember the last time I got sick. All right. I, could, I, I could feel the onset of disease because yeah, the, the pathway of the pathogens is right here. Yeah. The nasal cavity. And then when you're sensitive you know, to those uh, pathogens and toxins, you can feel them accumulate. And then before uh, they hurt you and before they get inside the deep organs, you know, there are techniques you know, in yoga we can do you know, to flush them and then irrigate them out. So, you know, we prevent ourselves from getting ill. All right. But yoga is not um, an instantaneous, I say, instant cure, instant treatment. It's a journey. It's a way of life, really. All right. And then you might ask, so how often should I practice yoga? Yeah, if you have the time daily, yeah, how long? Yeah. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I think that's practical yeah, for most of us in this modern times. We have so many commitments, obligations. Practice daily. Be firm with your decisions. Yeah. If you can spend an hour browsing your phone, maybe cut your <laughs> browsing hours into like 30 minutes and then a lot, yeah, the other 30 minutes to your practice. There's always a way. Yeah. And the reward is really long lasting. Um, it's priceless. Yeah, but as I've mentioned, yeah, it's still the physical part of it, but yes, yeah, who doesn't want a strong body? Who doesn't want, yeah, a healthy internal system? Who doesn't want a healthy function? Yeah. And then when we're healthy, our bubble benefit too. Our families, our loved ones, our friends, because we can share and then a lot more time to them, right? So yes, yeah. You don't have to practice in uh, uh, a formal or a yoga studio, but if you are given the opportunity, if you have the resources, yes, because the teacher will be able to 
give you a more, I say, personalized guidance. Yeah. But you can do, yeah, for example, online classes. Yeah. You can do my classes. I post uh, classes regularly. Yeah. And then once the techniques get ingrained, you can even design your own program, which suits your need, which suits your time, your level, and then even your situation. And it starts there. Yeah, it, it has to start yeah, from this beach, the seed. And this will just grow in you. And then the other things will just happen yeah, without you noticing it. And just one day, you realize, oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Enjoy your practice. Have a lovely day. Namaste.